hamster. <laughs> it's my hamster. Pigeon. Hamster? Si, si. No, Ham no, no, pigeon. And what, it's a rat. Pigeon. <laughs> it's a rat. No, 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 it's hamster. Well, of course it's a rat. You have rats in Spain, don't you? What did Franco have them all shot? <laughs> Hello, uh, Mercy Beat lovers, and um, welcome back to the plot. <laughs> Virtually, <laughs> the virtual plot. Um, yeah, I hope you're doing well. Um, <laughs> yes, we're here today, down on the plot. Yesterday, we we uh, we we were at the real plot. The real one. And um, we. The, we discovered the shed had been broken into. Oh, it? we did, yeah. 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 But uh, nothing was taken, except no. for some shears, I think. Yeah. Uh, but uh, they didn't cause any much, well, not much damage. And we... Uh, they took a pair of shears. We put it right. A pair of what shears that, of that aren't really that sharp. Yeah. Uh, they're not that new. Yeah. Only a couple of years old. Oh, it's ridiculous, mm. isn't it? So. so they took a pair of shears yeah. and... Um, but there's no, there's no problem. There's no damage. We've sorted it. Yeah. Do you know what? I think we get a break in. It must be at once, least every twelve months, isn't it? Once a year. And people yeah. just come in and, and have it's, a look round. It's a good, um, good I think reason. It's the same person. Yeah, probably is. Yeah. But it's a good reason not to have anything valuable in your shed. Uh, no, we don't leave anything down there. Because I think they just come in to have a have a look. Just around. by chance, whether Nosey you may around. have left it. Uh, yeah. yeah. So yeah. they they nick these stupid things and. Okay, so what are we going to be talking about today? Well, that little segment about the uh, breaking puts puts us nicely in mind of the subject of today's allotment chat. How's that? Well, we're going to talk about rats, aren't we? What's that got to do with the shed? Well. He's a bit of a rat who did it, whoever did that, don't you think? <laughs> the two-legged rat. Two-legged rat. So, yeah. um, well, we're going to be talking about ratus ratus, aren't we? Yeah, we're going to be ratus norvegicus. Yeah. Ratus norvegicus, yeah. anyone who remembers The Stranglers, 1977, the mm. album. Um, so, ratus norvegicus. Um, yeah, ratus norvegicus, or, there's or two, the types, two rat. types of rats in Britain. Yeah. Ratus yours, norvegicus, yeah. which is the brown rat. Yeah. And there's Rattus Rattus, which is the black rat. Yeah, because um, earlier this week, uh, a fellow allotment holder told us that we, we had rats nest in our, in our compost bin. And we said, well, so what? <laughs> <laughs> well, they said they've they got a nest one. somewhere. They saw one. Yeah. But they made a big deal of it, didn't but they? But they made an assumption that because they, they saw a, one... They made a big deal... There must be... ...of these rats. And that's and, the case. Um, yeah, it's um, kind of... Um, these rats were uh, were infestating our plot. Yeah. Has anybody got any problems with rats? Do you have a problem with rats on your plot? Only the two-legged type. Yeah. We've been, we've been gardening for... 30-odd years. 30-odd years. We've never had a problem with rats. Never. And what, I'm, what I mean by that is that they, they've they never caused us a problem Any issues, no. or a gardening issue. No. Um, anyway, uh, what I did is I was going to use these, that I was going to clear we, out well, the compost Well, we were in the middle of, of getting the compost ready for yeah, the so, beds. Anyway, so I started it? clearing out of one, of one of our Dalek um, type of uh, bins, um, the green upright types yeah. with the lid on. Yeah, I started clearing out this mm. this and and a, a rat scarped out mm. out of the bottom of it. So it obviously made a nest. It probably been there all winter. Yeah, it's probably just sleeping there. You so I disturbed warmth. I disturbed mm. it. I found out where the nest was, and and that's it. And there was nothing. There was only a solitary rat mm. uh, nesting in there. Could have been a male rat. Yeah, they um, do. I mean, I think they do every year. Yeah. yeah. And um, just, to, just like you know, so we had, we, we did have a indeed have a rat nesting in our compost bin, but the, the thing that rats don't like, and the, the thing that really sort of like upsets them is any disturbance, mm. Mm. and it's like people you know, it's like people uh, who are in the Ukraine at the moment and they're being disturbed by bombs. We don't mm. like it, do we? No. And so rats are the same. So if you disturb their home, or if you you know you you it cause any disturbance they will go mm. so if you've got rats in your compost bin or on your plot don't worry about it can i just mention a couple of deterrents of people don't love rats like we do mm. um they have a very strong do we love rats yeah 
I love rats. Oh, I well, know you do. I do. I love all creatures. What about that big Cuban rat? The Husha. Yeah. Yeah. The tree rat. Tree rat. But it's Did you see a, the tree rat? It's called the Cuban Husha, Phil. H-U-T-I-A. Is it? Yeah. You'll have to flash it Look. up. The Cuban tree rat. Um, that was a boy, actually. It was a boy rat. Is it? Mm. Eating a banana doll, so known bananas. as a banana rat. They're, yeah. they're vegetarians, aren't they? Yeah. Herbivores. Herbivores, yeah. Can, so, can I go back to what I was saying about sorry, sense of yes. smell? Oh, yes. Rats have a ha very highly developed sense of smell. Yeah. And uh, obviously that's what attracts them to your plot and uh, anywhere else for that matter. They'll go for pet food waste, they'll go for um, unused dropped apples off trees and mm. pears. Mm. They'll go for most things that we, we would put in. Mm. Um, you look at it, you know, uh, things like bird feeders, seed, fat balls, stuff nice. like that. Nice. Um, but they dislike um, a lot of smells from particular plants, which right. could also be used as a, as deterrent. a deterrent. So you're looking at, they don't like uh, garlic and onion smells. Mm. So if you're planting... Oh, that's a good. lot of them, they won't go around them. Clover, hot peppers, mm. coffee grounds. Oh, they don't like hot peppers, like yeah. chili peppers and stuff They don't like, like hot peppers, no. Oh, um, things like coffee grounds, additionally, you can use them yeah. and vinegar. Yeah. Um, they don't like citronella and peppermint smells oh, or right. cat scent. Right. But right. things you can actually plant on your plot, marigolds, mm. rosemary. Mm. Obviously, we've mentioned garlic and onions. Mm. Um... Lavender, mm. daffodils, mm. they don't like the smell of daffodils. Really? Yeah. And they don't like grape hyacinth either. Grape hyacinths? Yeah. Oh, right. Don't like the smell of them. So you can actually that. use that if you've got an issue. If it is an issue, I don't yeah. think it is. Um, you can use that. Yeah. And, you know, try and deter them in that way. And obviously don't, you know, don't drop too much bird seed around. Mm. Um, and... Uh, you know, mm. be mindful of what you put in your compost mm. bin. I mean, we only ever put green waste in. So true. Don't know what other people put in theirs, but, no. you know. No. But, uh, yeah, they're highly intelligent and they're great learners, rats. Mm. They're, they excel at learning and mm. understanding concepts well, and working things out. Yeah. You know, a bit like a dog would when yeah. they're going through training. Yeah. Rats are the same. Yeah. And another interesting point about rats is they're fastidiously clean. They are. And do you know that a rat would clean itself more times a day and more thoroughly than a cat would? I mean, you think Amazing. cats are fastidiously clean, mm. rats are far more clean they than are. cats. So this now, these are all scientific and based in fact, you know. Yeah. So. But there's a lot of things that are based in f fact. And then there's a lot of things that are based in myth. Yeah. And I think there's a yeah. myth that's been there's uh, a myth about rats. grown up yeah. about rats, about them spreading the, the mm. plague and stuff like that. Mm. When scientific studies have, have discovered that the plague was actually um, spread by clothing and lice and uh, human fleas that don't mm. live on rats. Mm. Uh, in no, they fact, wouldn't, wouldn't rats they? very rarely came in contact with people during the plague. Mm. Uh, there's, there's no evidence to say that rats actually spread the plague. Mm -hmm. It was... Um, I mean, they've deciphered all that now, haven't they? It's... Well, they've discovered yeah. that now. So uh, mm. this idea of a dirty rat... Come out and take it, you dirty yellow-bellied rat! And, uh, mm. and they spread disease and stuff like that. It's a nonsense. Well, it's, it's the... only because people don't really don't understand, understand yeah. the yeah. nature of rats. I think, you know, to understand the nature of anything, you have to go and read about it, don't you? Yeah, it's And learn about it, it? And it's down to education. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Definitely. we've learned to live with rats. We quite enjoy having rats mm. around. I, uh, I mean, I quite like having having a few rats. Mm. <laughs> Got Interesting the problem thing with about rats. rats is, you know, the way we see in like blue, red, and green. Yes. Full spectrum. Rats only have a hint of like ultraviolet. Oh, right. And little bits of blue and green. So mm. their eyesight is not that much um, developed in yeah. such a way. Right. Well, that's good. Uh, they do serve a purpose to the ecosystem. Yes. And uh, due to the fact that they're natural scavengers and that, you know, humans are, shall we say, natural throwawayers. Yeah. They the, throw away a lot of stuff. The dirtiest type, type of creatures on planet Earth are, are people, aren't they? They can be. 
yeah human beings but rats come along and eat all mm. various types of things that humans throw away so they do ser serve a very good purpose yes in the ecosystem yeah as a whole yeah, yeah. it's amazing so um yeah i've seen a lot of stuff on social media you know in, in on the gardening um groups mm. where people have been complaining about rats in the compost bins and stuff like that some people just say nuke nuke them and and why, poison them why and have stuff they got like that. Right, they have got no right to do that. But why would you want to do that? Because they're uneducated. That's telling you, isn't it? Mm. Because they're uneducated. Well, it is. And, that, that's and, an, and, uh, if uh, that's what they've said, that's an uneducated response to something, isn't it? It's not problem solving. It's just go and nuke them. You know, yeah. when they're not causing any harm. Who would nuke a rat? No, if you said go and nuke Putin, then that would be a different thing altogether. Well, what about Putin nuking rats? He would probably say that, wouldn't he? You know, if he's bombed the city and said, I'm, it's full of rats. Mm, I it. don't know what he'd say. I, don't, I can't get into the mind of a, no. of a megalomaniac. Of a nosser. Mm. Anyway, um, yeah, so, uh, yeah, don't worry about rats on, mm. on the plot. Well, I mean, look at it this way. Like you said, just went back to that before about myths. Mm. You know, this mythical ideology that people have about things yeah. and not having it based in fact. Well, it wasn't so long ago that we were um, torturing cats because they were related to witches. Very and true. it wasn't that long ago that donkeys and stuff. were no. also being persecuted. No. We've you got know. funny views, haven't we? People are... Mm. People have got funny views. So. Yeah. What they don't know, they make up. Yeah, I mean, we've never had a problem with rats. They don't eat all your carrots, and they don't yeah. eat uh, rabbit, a rabbit mice. They'll forage. They some bulbs. And yeah, they'll they, eat but they leaf don't. Tops and stuff Only like in that. the middle of winter but when they're absolutely starving. Well, we've just gone through a list of smells that they don't like, and they certainly don't like onions and garlic. There you go. Neither do vampires. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I've never met a vampire. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, social vampires, yeah, I've, I've but not a, a real vampire. There are vampires out there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they are. Yeah, they are. Mm. So, um, yeah, uh, thank, so, you for, thank you for watching this tell us unusual about, video. Tell us about your feelings towards rats. And I hope tell us about your rats. I hope, the, I hope the good ones. Have you got rats? Have you got a rat? <laughs> Show us a picture of your rat. We like pictures of rats, don't mm. we? If you've got a rat... <laughs> oh, one thing we didn't, we forgot to mention, is they're very important in uh, detecting landmines. Oh, they are, yeah. yeah. What type of rats are they, yeah? Um, Landmine rats. No, there's... They'd a, be good in... Um, um, there's a specific genus Ukraine of... Ukraine, well, wouldn't they? Yeah, I think they're related to the brown rats, anyway. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. You could strap... Oh, they could be Norwegian rats. I'm not you sure. could strap missiles to the backs, couldn't you? And they could nuke people. <laughs> it's an idea anyway i don't uh, think it's a good idea no okay thanks for watching i bet you thought you, you, this was turning into a gardening channel and see what you've got now you've got us into all this kind of stuff look it's not going to be a gardening channel we're going to do a few, few more well, gardening it, well it is because they're a very important part of the oh, it, no it is going to be a gardening channel but it's yeah. not going to be a cookery channel that's what i meant i meant to say a cookery <laughs> channel yeah but a cookery channel you just said that rats aren't related to a gardening channel no. oh yeah they are they are. No, I meant cookery. Oh, you meant cookery. Oh, no, I was see. talking about We're not cooking terms. rats, are you? No. Oh, good. No, not in the next recipe. There will be no rats. There might be a bit of ratatouille. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like ratatouille? No. no. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you have, then thanks for watching. And we'll see you in the next vlog. Bye-bye for now. Your way soon. Bye. Bye.